we're going to do the exploration in the uh, unit four day three notes about limasons and we're going to do the portion where we are making some predictions so what i've done is i've gone to desmos.com um, and i opened a new graphs page and i have entered actually the three graphs that we just sketched so we had r equals three cosine theta plus five so just as a review this was our dimpled limason um, I'm going to switch now. I'm going to graph R equals 4 cosine theta plus 4. This was our cardioid. Remember, it looks like a heart. And the last one we graphed was 5 cosine theta plus 3, which is the limosone with this inner loop. So right now we're going to explore uh, what happens. The first question that we were supposed to make a prediction about was what do you think will happen if we graph a sine theta plus d instead of a cosine theta plus d? So these three graphs, I can show them all at once, um, are all cosine graphs. And we notice that all of these graphs are uh, have the line of symmetry along the x-axis. I would consider these horizontal graphs, just like the circle graphs that we did that had um, a cosine theta was going to be a circle with the center on the x-axis. So let's change each of these graphs to be sine instead. So uh, the prediction that I would make is that these will become a vertical. So we can do 3 sine theta plus 5. So I'll do these one by one, right? So we used to have this being horizontal. Now it's vertical. So we have 4 cosine theta plus 4. Let's make that 4 sine theta plus 4. So we predict that now it would be vertical with the majority of it above the x-axis, which is what we get. We have that same cardioid, but now it's vertical. And let's do the last one. So we have 5 cosine theta plus 3. This is the limason with the inner loop or loop limason. And now let's do 5 sine theta plus 3. And now it's rotated um, so that it is vertical. Okay, with the line of symmetry for each of these at theta equals pi over 2 instead of theta equals 0 when it was cosine. The second exploration we were going to look at was what would happen if we had um, a sine theta plus d or a cosine theta plus d and we had a negative value for a. So let's take a look at um, 3 sine theta plus 5 and let's make it negative 3. So um, I would predict now that this is going to flip so the majority of it is below the x-axis, which is what happened here. Okay, let's do the same thing for 4 sine theta plus 4. That's our nice cardioid. If I put negative 4, it's going to flip so the majority is down. And let's do the last one. So let's show 5 sine theta plus 3, that loop limason. Let's make it negative 5 sine theta plus 3 and it will also flip over the x-axis. Uh, let's do the same thing for these cosine graphs. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to make this 3 cosine theta plus 5. So this is our uh, dimpled limason. If I make it negative 3, it's going to flip, so the majority of it is um, in the negative x direction. Right? Let's do the same thing for the cardioid. So I'm going to make this 4 cosine theta plus 4, which is the graph we uh, did together by hand. And now if we make it negative 4, instead of being on the right side, we would expect it to go to the left side. So negative A, the majority is on the left side. And let's do the one with the inner loop for a good measure. So I'm going to change this to 5 cosine theta plus 3. So the majority of this is on the right side. If I make it negative 5, I would predict that it's going to flip over the line theta equals pi over 2 with the majority being on the left side. So let's do that. And there we have it. Um, I'm going to, after this video, let's, I'm going to make another video to go back to the notes and do the summary there.